today we have come up with something different uh, we would try to sort of go through the most common interview questions and you know live solve them uh, we are hoping that it gives you know the experience of being in an interview and tells you more about how to go in solving them so we are going to start with the set of questions from bitmasky and here we have like two common questions which are generally asked and yeah let's deep dive into it so rajat and dev are going to you know give us the questions and we'll try to solve them here live all right over to you rajat and dev yeah well this will be the first time that uh... <laughs> The candidate is introducing <laughs> the himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, I guess the first question. Uh, so, um, a bit of history of these questions is like even I have asked these questions in the past, uh, and these are very common questions. Hmm. Or bit masking I and. I am always amazed. Like, uh, if you work in industry for so long, you find these questions to be very easy. But I, I am, I have always been amazed with it. I have, whenever I have asked this question, the variety of answers I have got, <laughs> and uh, what the candidate's reaction is when I finally tell them that there is a much more effective solution to it. So yeah. we are gonna, we are gonna try and solve some of these questions. Um, yeah. So I think first, also. Like to add to the Rajat, I think also these questions are related to very, uh, like what we do day to day, right? Yeah. We deal with such, uh, you know, like if if you can solve these problems, right? Then I think you typically know how to do bit manipulation kind of thing, right? Yeah. And that is what is basically required in day to day embedded uh, software yeah. engineer, uh, you know, life, right? So. I think it's it's more of very similar to what we do day to day, so that's why we are you know choosing these questions. So in this series, uh, I think my Mohammed is gonna act as a candidate, and we are gonna grill him as the interviews. <laughs> yeah, let's see how he can perform today. How he, how he grills other candidates? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so I guess the first question uh, is that. Uh, so uh you, so there's four variables four variables that will be given to you uh the first one being m n x and a where m and n usually represents the bit positions in a in a 32 bit integer a represents the 32 bit integer and mm -hmm. x is a value it can be a 8 bit 16 bit and can even be 32 bit depending on it but whatever value will give you for the x that will definitely be lower than 2 to the power n minus m where n represents a more significant bit than m so the it's question a larger number is that take that integer and you have to put x into its position where mm -hmm. its position is represented by bit positions m and n and you cannot make any assumptions that uh, the integer can have uh, it can have values cleared or set it can have mm -hmm. any any okay. okay and you don't have to assume that uh, X cannot be zero as well. <laughs> right, right, right. Got right. it. Okay. I so think you can take one example. Uh, like yeah, that's what I was. Very big number. Yeah. I was going to do. So I think uh, first of all, you know, what I would do generally is ask, like, clarifying questions to see whether I understood the question correctly, or you know, I and the interviewer are on the same page or not, right? So right. what you mean is, I have to essentially fit the number which is in x in in between positions m and n in the bigger number a now is that correct yes okay awesome. yeah. so I let's go to, to, with an example to, um, so you let's can say, take the example let's take yeah. the hexadecimal number 0x f hmm. yes n is, is let's say 7 yeah and a is let's say hex uh, uh, for simplicity, you know what I'm going to do is I'll keep it, keep them in you know powers of sorry multiples of four so that we can visualize it with hex numbers. Okay. So let's say dead beef. That's our classic, right? And our x is 
let's say it would be one value right of four bits so zero yes. x uh, let's say e or rather a let's say. yes right okay so what essentially we have to do is uh, from the bit position four to bit position eight that would be this yes or rather if you are starting from zero then should i say it from three to seven uh, the starting bit position will still be four right starting will be four but ending will be yes. seven, seven. Yeah. yes yeah. okay so that means that and if by the way this doesn't have to be true we are just doing it for simplicity sake yeah, so that we just can an example. just an example we can visualize mm -hmm. it here in a better way so what i have to do essentially is replace this e i'll it will go and it will become a Let, here. let's keep a as it is and let's, uh, let's uh, write output separately all right all right so okay so the output should be something like now this is the clarifying question should do you want me to keep the uh, sorry do you want me to keep the the rest of the bits for a as it is or do you want yes. me to make it you should not disturb rest of a okay so mm. this should remain same and this is how it should look like yes is that correct yes yeah so so All to right. simplify the the question is that take an integer a and update all the values uh, from m to n position with, m to n with, yes, whatever there is in x, x. Yeah. correct so, so let's say uh, the, the, that hmm. uh, you know particular bits with value a right? yeah so let's say if the bit positions were like this then and here it was a b let's say then this would have become a b uh, this that's correct yes all right so okay i think i have understood the question now i'll try to attempt in solving so okay so what i will do is i'll create the masks such that it only affects the desired bit positions which i want to affect so for example mask 1 uh, what i'm envisioning is i just want to clear the bits so let's say m could be anything right m could be four or five anything and i want a bit mask such that i don't change this bit uh, this nibble here f in our case so uh, i will have a mask like this so in our case this number would be three correct right uh, sorry not three but uh, 15 right this mask one would be all f's uh, four f four ones basically hmm. so it would right. be zero x f zero x f yeah so hmm. it would be zero x f in our example all right uh, similarly i will generate mask two same method uh, uh, n and given that n i can assume n is always greater than m correct right. so this will give me another mass which would be so if m uh, n is 11 here so this mass would cover all the three right right so this would be 0x f f f something like this now what i have to do is i need the can you write the mask uh, completely meaning can you yeah. write the complete mask that will be formed something like this yes uh, okay seven do count uh, three four one one zero yes, one zero, yes. Yeah. and uh, okay yes. one okay nice oh all right so these are the masks now are you sure this will be the mask sorry are you sure this will be the mask in our case for this example yes i think you would end so up having one mask right shift one by 10 and subtract one will you get a f sorry i didn't get the question uh, in right this, if you assume n as 11 can you do mm -hmm. a can you do a binary representation of if you right shift uh, 
1 by 11 positions where it ends up oh yeah this is ending position sorry 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 my bad my bad my bad yeah something like this so if i'm shifting it by 12 let's say then i have i want the first 12 bits to be f yeah so i have to do something like this yeah yes. nice sketch yeah. so yeah now this is the mask here and now what i want is uh, and this is open okay now what i want is i want to tweak mass 1 and 2 such that i form the resultant mass which will have the correct positions which i need to replace in a yes okay so i think the thing which i can do is i can take an x okay let me see i will take an x or what it will do is it will generate uh so i want to remove this f's which are not important for me uh what okay here and the new mask i will call it as new mask is mask one okay and some operator here which will come to in a moment mask two and i want an operator such that it preserves the value if they are different and it outputs zero if they are same okay right yeah. so that would be our x or operator uh, where is the x or here so if both are zero or both are one then it will give me the uh, one in that place otherwise it would give zero so okay. uh, our mask would somehow now this resultant mask would be f f f f one more f Will right you get an f over there yeah oh there's yeah. there's it sorry 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 my bad man i'm really feeling i'm sitting in an interview that's <laughs> <laughs> yes okay. it is it is yeah okay so something like this okay all right uh so this is my new mask and what i will do is a step by step i want this mask to have value of x whatever there was in x now okay one question so x will not be shifted by mth position right f x would always start from the lsb correct mm, yes mm, no is that the assumption? you have to fit x between that those number of those numbers so but uh, mm -hmm. my, my question is x would always be like not shifted in the same bit position as right. i right yes would, no. okay so i have to do it myself okay yeah, yeah. Okay. Like it's but, not already given shifted. Huh, huh, huh. It's not shifted. It's not, it's a not shifted shifted. number. It's not. So now my new mask will I will have to make sure. So, so that, Muhammad, hmm. like, uh, like I could see a simpler way to calculate the new mask. Like, can can you think of some another way where just a single line could calculate the new mask instead single, of going with multiple, you know line of code okay so you mean i somehow let's see x just a second can i can i revisit that later i just want to finish sure, the question sure. no, yeah. Sure. No, sure. Yeah. Yeah. okay so what i will do now is i'll warp x into the position and the value to be written value to be and return equals let's say so x because it is not shifted i will shift it by m bits okay. and m gives me the starting position so that's correct and i will end it with uh, the mask which i have right so this is the value to be written at that correct position so so this would be something like 
uh, in our example it would be 0x f f uh, sorry 0 0 0 five zeros a b and uh, one more zero yeah. right this would be like this and okay. now i just have to basically uh, copy it over to the final number which is our a here all right so now new a will be value to be a odd with no not odd with sorry my bad okay so this is my value here and this is a here so i will first do i'll have to clear okay i need to clear these bits as well otherwise i mm, yes i can't directly or it right right so okay i have the new mask which i can use to clear the uh, clear these bits here right so a and a negation of new mask this will be the new a this will be the cleared version of a and then I can just a second. Yeah, I can or it with our value to be written. Okay. Now, okay. are you taking consideration of the precedence? Like which one has more precedence or which one? I think so. Anyway, this negation has more precedence, and yeah. these have same precedence. Right. So it should not matter because these are commutative properties, right? Or any way I can, you know, uh, just to be sure, I'll do this. Yes. Okay. Uh, because so if the other operation happens first, first, then the value should come out to be a different value. But anyway, because they are same precedence, it would follow left to right order, right? If I had not mm -hmm. done. But it's okay. always nice to have a, uh, a, uh, a parenthesis right. around complex yeah. uh, mathematics. Fair, fair. So this is what I have now. Dev, your suggestion was that I if think we can... I I want to call out one point here mm -hmm. is that you know you you did the right thing by you know moving forward with your uh, you know answer mm -hmm. because sometimes let's say interviewer nudges you to do uh, a little bit of optimization. And let's say if you take a lot of time doing that a small optimization and you end up wasting a lot of time, let's say 30 minutes or something, mm -hmm. then you are end up with like half solution, right? Half baked solution. Right, right, right. And and that's very you know negative point. So if, if mm. let's say you think that you are comfortable with your own solution and you want to complete it first, complete that first, and then you can think of a different solution, right? Yeah. So yeah. here you have some positive points, right? Mm -hmm. we, we have a positive mindset that okay, you have done, you know, to solve the question. Now you are, you know, you don't have that pressure to, you know, complete the solution. So now you can think of a better uh, solution or a different optimized approach, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, and a special thing about uh, bit manipulations is it's easy to confuse things around. Yeah, man. Yeah. So whenever, I mean, whenever you are, so I, I know Mohammed does it on day-to-day -day life, and still he mess, messed up at line number twenty-three or somewhere else. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what what has helped me over the years is whenever I am solving some bit manipulation kind of problem, I always write it to what uh, what that bit manipulation is gonna create. Hmm. Rather than no. assuming in my mind that whatever I am writing is correct, I just uh, put a double slash and write what exactly will happen when I when I do such a mask. Hmm. 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 Yes. So and I think this is just like you, you are you are dry running yeah. on some, exactly. some different yeah. example. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you cannot be wrong if if you are okay. doing that. 
So yeah. let's move on to the follow up. Can you optimize line number 22, 23, 25 into one? Yeah. These three, right? Okay. So let me first regroup them. Okay. Now, what essentially my goal here is to generate. So one thing is obviously uh, I can just combine them basically, right? <laughs> Replace. Yeah, right. It is just a single yeah. line. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was the ask. I mean, I don't see computationally how it would be. Yeah. Uh, it, it may be just a number of operations. Number. Maybe yeah, it's, it's, yes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. correct, correct. So I get the gist of that. But uh, OK, so I'm generating this mass. I'm generating this mass. Now, can I play around with M and N? OK, I think what I can do is I can generate a mass such that n minus m so it gives me what 11 minus 4 gives me <coughs> 7 so i need to add 1 to it mm. right okay i'll right. keep it a bit separate so this gives me like you know the mask of 7 8 numbers and i do like this so this is my final mask and what i want is this entire number to be in the correct position Right, to be shifted. So, yeah, to be shifted. So what I will do is I will again shift it by some number, which would be M in this case. Right. Mm. And this is my new mask. So this is equivalent to uh, new mask as well. Uh, let me double confirm before committing anything. So what I did was Basically, I calculated, OK, I need two F's at the end, which would be the difference of M and N. So this is this, right? But they were not in the correct position. So I had to shift it by some number, which was M, to place it in the correct position. Mm. Uh, does that sound right to you guys? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Uh, a small nit from my side will be that I would not add one to M. Yeah, uh, I think eleven is always the correct position. N is what you want. Oh to yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's like N minus N plus one. So yeah, that's it should be N plus one minus M, but it, minus that's seven. a very nit thing. Yeah. yeah, I think typically when we calculate the length. Yeah. So that that's what we do. Like the upper index minus the lower index plus one. So yeah. yeah. No, I, I did not get the point. Sorry. What were you saying? Uh, so uh, if you look at your mask above in 22 and 23, you added one to N, not to M yes. over there. But in oh, you are saying the precedence. Okay. Okay. I see. Yeah. Because I was oh, I see. So you are saying instead of this, I should have done something like yes. Okay. okay. I see your point. Okay. I think yeah. I think in my mind, I was. It doesn't like, make a difference. It doesn't yeah. make a difference. It's pictorial. It's just uh, easy to read and easy yeah. to understand. Fair. Fair. I would read that. It makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Awesome. I think I would have read otherwise, like nicely, because that's what Plus, I have been doing. Yeah. <laughs> Even but I feel the like the missing part is... over there was parenthesis. If you want to read it that way, then you need n minus m in a parenthesis and then plus right. one. Oh man. Yes. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. So, okay. So because something like is, something is like this. Thinking, yes. yeah. Yeah. Why? Why are you adding plus one to m? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that fair, fair, fair. 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 Awesome. All are nice tips. So I think I would, you know, I would keep this definitely instead of you know these two yeah. uh, all right awesome so okay moving on to next question then sure sure all right awesome how am i how am i doing time wise guys good bad. i think it's 25 minutes oh bad bad okay. really bad okay <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> oh well, right. I think so, it, do we want, it's, do we want it's, to take up this question <laughs> yeah Okay, I let's know. let's let's go beyond. Or that. you want to switch someone? Someone else wants to do it. I think we don't I, I think, have the control. I think you should continue. Yeah, I, think yeah, I will. I will do it for. Continue. Yeah, I will do it for this video. No problem. So, okay, I will. I will highlight. Uh, so this is a combo of two questions. Usually, these are, this is two interview questions hmm. where uh, you have to uh, 
I won't split it because if I split and tell you what two questions are, you find the uh, you find half of the answer. So let's still keep it as a single question. That is, if I give you two integers, let's say if I give you number A as five mm -hmm. and B as three, you tell me the number of uh, uh, bits you need to flip to make five three or three as five. Three as five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number of bits. the answer here is obviously one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it could be. Zero to one or one to zero, anything is counted as a bit flip. Yes. Right. Okay. So let's take an example here. Uh, okay. Five to three is two bits, now. Five, five to three. Yeah. The fifth. Five to three bits. is one. Uh, five to three is uh, two bits. Two bits. Yes, two bits. Yes. Yeah. Three to five is uh, again two bits. No, even two. two bits. It would remain yes, same. Two right? bits. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, my bad. Two bits. Yes, it is two bits. So if it was four to five, then it would be one bit. A power to five will be one. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, my bad. Okay. So a, let's say a is. I'll write it in binary form. Uh, take let's say five. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so zero one, zero one. Then you have. I'll keep it aligned. B is what, Rajat? Uh, three. Three. Okay. So zero zero one sorry one one. This is our B, and our answer is like okay. I do I need to flip this bit? Uh, the first bit, okay. I'll highlight it like this. Okay, I don't need to flip this, so not counted. I need to flip this to interchange them, so one. I need to flip this to interchange them, so two, and zero remains the same. So our answer is uh, two. Yes. Right. All right. Okay. So well, uh, this is what I'm gonna do. I'll just propose a brute force solution, just so you know, I get myself going. Uh, hmm. Right, so brute force is pretty simple for uh, I mean, looks pretty simple to me. I'll just run a loop, you know, read each bit one by one in both and see if they are same or not. If they are same, I don't increment the counter. If they are not same, I increment the counter and I return that counter at the end. Mm. Okay. Right, uh, so this is brute force and it will require, you know. Basically, whatever number is, it would be like log n complexity, right? Because I'm doing uh, that. Many. I mean, number is in the sense decimal number. Or if you let's say, if we count our input in as based on number of bits of a number, then it would be O of n. Yes. Depending on what we do, yeah. what we count n as. Yes. So okay. So I think I'll not gonna expand more on brute force because that's pretty easy. And we want to okay optimize this. You know, one other thing. I think you should ask interviewer if he wants the brute yeah. force or not. Do do you guys you can't want just to assume maybe, that maybe I want to see whether you can write a for loop a or not. Come on. Yes. Okay. Like uh, maybe okay. you are bluffing, man. You don't know. You don't know the brute force, and you're bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So okay, what uh, some assumptions then from my end. Uh, what is the max length you want A and B? U in 64. Is that fine? Sure. Uh, let's let's take 32 bits. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's that would be smaller, sir. U in uh, 32. I'm just writing it here. U in 32 A and B. Okay. Uh, space. All right. So I'll say U in 32 B I. And I'm not gonna care anything here. So I'll just go from 32 I plus plus. Sorry, I'm on my uh, laptop here, guys. I'm not used to this. Or I'm, I don't know. Yeah. yeah I, I think we don't take any excuse. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm give, I was giving an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> so all right so what i need is if so i'm i'm going to extract you know the first bit from this guy a here okay and a shifted by 1 right shifted by 1 and b right shifted by 1 so this gives me two, I think I, yeah, this gives me one bit. Sorry, what am I doing? Okay. 
was interesting yeah i'm i, I bluffed up here. sorry uh, <laughs> <laughs> so i need one bit okay oh okay okay a and 1 0x1 here and b 0x where is our 1 okay so this is i'm comparing now the last bits here of a and b and if they are same or even end won't work here sorry some other operator so if what is the operator if both the bits are same x nor i'm going to okay, ask sir. one stupid question yeah. man what is the symbol for x nor in c X nor. Huh. I think we know X nor. Right? Why do we need X nor? The X nor, there is no symbol. There is, there is. X nor operators are there. There is. There is X nor. X. Oh, I mean, like negate करना पड़ेगा यार. हाँ. Yes. Yeah. Interviewers, आप बताओ X nor क्या है? I have never used X nor to be honest. Uh, I don't even know if it exists. Hota. I think I it's yeah. only negate of X nor. मैं yeah. okay. Precedence wise correct uh, Brackets parentheses are balanced. I think okay. Okay. What happened over here? Yeah, I I'm interested. I think you, you don't need x nor right. You need x or. What happens if both the values are same in x or? Both the values are same, then it will be one. But my ulta is thinking. Like if both the values are different. If both the values are same, you are gonna get uh, one. No, zero. Yeah, zero. But I'm thinking the opposite. I will not. I will continue in this case. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. You are saying so. Bolo. Interviewer Bhagwan. Okay. okay. So this is X or where I should I say? Keep it. If both the values are same, one and one, then it will be answer will be one. Are you sure? Sorry, X or here. My bad, my bad. Answer will be zero only when they are different. Answer will be one. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And दूसरा कहाँ गया parentheses? Okay. I think it's interesting that what would you do with I? Huh? Like I'm I'm wondering what would you do with I? You have a iterator. Nothing. It's just a count. Right? Huh? It's just a count. Okay. मतलब वाइल भी यूज कर सकता था मैं दैट इफ दैट्स व्हाट यू मीन ओके हां तो आई हैव अ काउंट व्हिच विल इंक्रीमेंट एंड काउंट इज समवेयर इनिशियलाइज्ड टू जीरो हियर ओके ओके एंड ओके और इफ ये हुआ आई आर सॉरी अबाउट माय सिंटैक्स हाइलाइटिंग ओके और अभी मैं ए को Ah. Equals a shifted by you, one. You are changing the values of a and b. Okay. Ah. And b equals b shifted by one. Or thirty-two times me jaega. And uh, yeah, count plus plus and return count at the end here somewhere. Mm. Does that sound right to you guys? Yeah, I was coming from the the uh, coming from a background where you use I to shift uh, that bit in A, and then don't change the A value. So oh, that's okay. why I was saying that. Okay, what would you huh. do with I? I think the bigger the uh, here pe instead of four we could have used while as well, and we could have exited earlier if uh, the any of the num. Or not any of the numbers. If both the numbers. Uh, are numbers will not uh, be will never become equal, right? Because you don't know. Equal, nahi, equal, nahi. If the both the numbers become zero, because let's say you yeah. have trailing zeros, then you don't yeah. need to care about them. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah, brute force is here, so I don't care much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this was brute force. Okay. Uh, now another, you know, while I was doing this, one other thing popped into my head, is just one single. 
uh, line solution. So what I, I essentially want is this operator, right? Somewhere where I can see the difference in bits, right? Mm -hmm. So just say X or will give me one if they are same, mm -hmm. right? So I want negated thing of that. If they are different, I want one. So which we already touched upon here while, mm -hmm. while doing that. So what I can do is a X or B and I just negate it here. So this will have number. This would, this would represent some number so which would have, why, why would it doesn't matter, matter, right? right? Sorry. You no. negate it or not. It doesn't matter, right? Why not? So for example, because, if you, get, if no, I uh, okay. You, if I give you a number, you negate and you negate in it, you get equivalent number of other thing. No, no. My, my point is uh, what I have to do now is I have to count the number of ones here. No, number of zeros here. Why? Because A X or B gives you. So if they are the same, so if they are same, they, so XOR operator means if they are same, they will give you zero. Hmm. Correct. Correct. If they are different, so in this case, what you, what you did is A X or B will give you the number of ones that are different. A X or B yes. not will give you the number of zeros that are different. Huh. So this would give me the number of, so essentially what I'm looking for is the number of ones in this number, which will give me how many times I have to flip. Correct. No, 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 no. that's 32 so, minus whatever. So Mohammed, what is your aim? Do you want to count the number of zeros left or count the number of ones? In the resultant, I want to count the number of ones in the resultant. Then you don't need to do negate. Hmm. Uh, can you write the truth table of XOR? Yeah. XOR. So so A XOR B will have all the bits set which are different in A and B. Right. Just write the write the just for a for a moment. Let's write the truth table huh. of XOR. So zero and one. If they are different, the output will be one. Uh, Sorry. Table always starts from zero, zero. Let's start from zero, zero. Yeah, man. Upload base <laughs> One zero is one, and then sorry, one one is zero. Yeah, I think uh, do you, you think it is correct? First, first. Oh my, my bad, my bad. Uh, uh. So you get a one when the bits are different. I get a one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. So when you okay, 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 okay. Ha ha. So my number of zeros will be. Yeah. So this number will have number. So uh, what I need to do is count number of ones. Number of ones. Number of ones here, right? Yes. In oh. in a, a x or b. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Now. Okay, uh, nice. Actually, I would like to stop. Uh, I would like to hold it here for a minute. What hmm. exactly are you doing with AX or B? Uh, if what you look at whatever logic you write from 50 to line number 50 to 58. I'm doing the same thing. Yeah. Line number 70. Just right, right. doing that logic for you. Correct, correct, hmm. correct. Exactly. And now I can use a built in function at my disposal to do this. So I think it's called something like pop count or something. So it's a built-in GCC function where I can just feed this number here, right? A X mm -hmm. or B. Yeah, let's assume there is no built-in C library. You are right. Yeah. So that's what we have written in brute force. But now I I want to do it in an efficient way, mm -hmm. right? I, I don't want to like basically iterate through 32 times, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. But just so for our viewers out there, there exists a built-in function which can count the number of ones for you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right. All right. Yes. Uh, it's I think called pop count or something. And there is also an instruction in x86, which just uh, which does that. All right. Oh. So again, we are back to optimization. Uh, optimization. Or just a second. Uh, 
I, I recently learned of a trick which I think will apply here was if I want to count the number of ones, then what I do is I here a and a minus one until they are so until they become zero i i basically so go over uh, so basically maybe i'll give an example and do that yeah, okay, yeah. So. i think my question would be that what a and a minus one do ha huh, so i think it will be clear from the example so uh zero b let's say one zero one zero zero one zero 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 one something like this right mm -hmm. and i want and our <coughs> and what i want is to count how many number of ones there are mm -hmm. right so uh, let me also write the the number this same number minus one right does that sound okay. like it's a and a minus one okay. a and a minus one right now what if we do end in between them so this number would vanish the, the last yeah, the trailing number would thing. vanish yeah right mm -hmm. so this would vanish and my new a would become whatever the result of this was uh, okay okay so my new a would be new a uh, or rather iterated a would be 1001 uh, it is hiding guide me my lords here 10010 uh, i can't see the number above okay 1001 triple zero okay yes and one zero, and one. then all zeros yes right that was new yes that was the, so this would be the new a and i repeat the same thing essentially again so what will be the uh, a minus 1 now one zero you, zero, you you eliminate one, one more uh, uh -huh, exactly one. so every iteration i eliminate one more one basically mm -hmm. so now i have this uh, sorry this is minus 1 right so mm -hmm. what i will have is i eliminate this one as zero and this of rest of all the zeros sorry this is binary so one 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 right mm -hmm. and now when i do end of these two guys mm -hmm. So I this one also is four, four, one is to the five. Four, okay. okay yeah. 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 Four ones, yeah. So mm -hmm. now when we do end of these two guys, mm -hmm. so this entire bit field will get eliminated. Right. And now I have considered this one into my iteration. Mm -hmm. So essentially, how many iterations I go through will give me the number of ones. Right. Okay. So basically what I have to do is while a and a minus one and i'll have a count here count equals zero uh a and a minus one uh count plus plus hoga. and here sorry i'll pull it up a bit count plus plus and our new a would be this copy and paste right so essentially we will return the count at the end so this is a, be a better solution than the above one because here the complexity was o of the number of bits mm -hmm. which are used in representing the variable and here the complexity would be the number of ones present so worst case both will have like 32 iterations right but average case this would be a better one than the above and what, what if we, if a is just one and okay oh nice nice okay so what if a is just one right so a is one and this guy is all f's zero one and zero sorry uh 
So one and zero is zero. Then I don't even enter, and I output incorrectly. Hmm. So, is there any way where I can generalize this, or I'll have to handle it differently? That's you tell me. Uh, okay, let me think. And maybe take different examples. You would be able to figure out. Hmm. So if a is one, then. Okay, I think what I can do is I don't check on this. I'll just check on A, and yes. if there is A, then I do A and A minus one. Yes. Right. And if it is zero, yeah, next time it will be zero, so I don't enter. Yeah. I think this should work. Right. Yeah. This should work. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. man it it is really believe me it is much tougher tougher than you know what you think when you yeah, i think I, th i think there are two reasons one is mm. that you have you have two interviewers uh, <laughs> on you <laughs> yeah so yeah that's another pressure and you know it, it just goes to show that practice is really important like yeah if you just come you know once in a while he's like hi i'm going to crack that then it's not like it's basically everything would be rusted so yeah practice is important like i i i i you know this was the line where i fumbled here right it's a classic mistake here instead yeah. of n plus 1 i just did n and then here x or such that i had to write the table of x wow okay <laughs> so but yeah i think okay. like uh, the the time that you actually entered was maybe 25 or 30 because most of the times we were speaking to the audience as well so mm -hmm. so yeah just shedding a bit of light like usually people remember it that if both are say i remember exos as if both are same it's it's zero if uh, it's different then it's one i usually remember if it's if only one of the bits is one it is going to reverse the other bit if only one of ah, the okay. bits is one, one then it was the other bit and then do the end no that's it right it just okay, reverse the other come, can you come down <laughs> to the okay other. yeah Excellent. just a sec so what rajat i think is saying is if so one if of the bits is so one then b reverse one. the other bit so yeah. wherever b is one it's going to toggle a ah, toggle okay. nice man very space to remember things hmm Hey man, there is no x nor operator, is it? There isn't. Yeah. A single operator. And uh, that is how. And if you if you if you look at the C construct, whenever we talk, uh, we remember x or in terms of toggling only. Hmm. That if we want to toggle just x or it with one. Hmm 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 hmm. So one would make sure that the bit bit flips. Basically. Bit flips. Hmm. Nice. Okay, I think with this, can we conclude? Uh, yeah. Sure. Today. Yep. all right awesome if you know, if you guys are here till now thanks for staying this much all right i'll we'll see you in next video bye bye bye, -bye. Yeah. bye.